let's talk about ways to get leads to your website for free. Now, who doesn't want more website leads, right? Leads that will turn into paying customers and increase your sales. Now, if you want a thriving and successful business, I'm sure that you do, right? I assume that this is something that you're after. But you know, it sounds like it should be easy, right? You know, you have an amazing product or service, you know, that it will have a positive impact on those who use it or experience it. So why is it so gold dang hard to get qualified leads to your website so people can actually learn about your offering? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in today's Tea Time Tip Show, Marketing for Busy Entrepreneurs. And I'm going to provide you with try and true methods that will drive qualified traffic to your website who are looking for solutions that you are providing and all without any paid advertising costs. So are you ready to discover ways to get your website doing what it's supposed to do and bring in more leads? Stay tuned to find out how we're going to start this episode of Tea Time Tip Show right now. Just in case you don't know who I am, I'm the founder of eVision Media, and we are a full service web development and digital marketing firm where we help build successful businesses through brand and graphic design, custom designed websites and development, and digital marketing so that our clients can be proud to showcase their business to the world. So you can find out more about us at evisionmedia.ca and check us out and see if uh, we can uh, help you grill, grow and build your business to where you want it to be. So we're going to be talking about organic traffic and you probably have heard that word before, but may not understand what it's all about or all the different areas that are involved in it is not just SEO. So we're going to talk more about that. Um, but do stay tuned to the, to the whole show because I'm going to be providing three key areas that you must be aware of and focus on that will drive those qualified leads back to your website. And, uh, and you don't want to miss out on that, right? And so like I said, we're today, we're focusing on the free activities, the the ones that are not paid for, which is called organic website traffic. And um, but I, I do want to clarify that that doesn't mean that I'm all about just organic traffic. I really do highly encourage that you um, also invest a little bit in a marketing budget so that you have some paid traffic as well. Uh, we're not going to talk about that today. But if you do need help getting paid traffic to your website, which is a real fast way of getting results, paid traffic will get you immediate results. And that's paid traffic on your search engines as well as your in your social media, those will get quick results where the organic traffic is something that needs to build up and, and grow and kind of evolve and, and accumulate over time. So it's not going to get you the fast quick results. So if you have have a launch coming up or if you you know really have a sale or you really need to boost some business fast or you know have a event hum happening then definitely in invest in some paid traffic and that's what we will and can do for you so do check us out at evisionmedia.ca and uh, we have specialists on our team who uh, do very good at those kinds of paid advertisements but that's not what we're talking about today right we're going to talk about free stuff, the um, organic ways that we can get traffic to our website. And so stick around because at the end, I'm going to share a bonus tip on what you can do to market your business locally, that will also drive more qualified traffic to your website. So stay to the end and let's get going. So the first thing that we want to talk about, the, the primary thing is your website, right? You have to ensure that your website is, can actually be found, that somebody even knows it exists. And when I say somebody, I mean your target audience. And I've talked a lot about identifying who your target audience is. Uh, you shouldn't even have a website until you have made that definition of who your target audience is. And if you haven't, 
let me know, let me help you. I, I mentor our clients uh, through that process so that we can get crystal clarity on who the target audience is and what that brand positioning should be, which should happen before you even have a website. All right, so then you've got that, you understand what it is, and now you need to build your website, but when you're building your website, not all websites are created equal. Let's put it that way. They're, you know, those drag and drop website builders, the ones that you get did yourself or you got really super cheap, they're probably most likely not SEO optimized. And your website really does have to be SEO optimized. So SEO stands for search engine optimization. And that means that you want the search engines such as Google find you, you want to come up in the search listing results. When somebody is typing in Google, where do I find a, an answer to such and such? And you're the one who is providing those answers. So being found in those search engines, and I'm not talking about being found on page 100, that's not going to do you any good, right? Yeah. Okay, great. If somebody types in your actual full business name, yes, you might be on page one or two, but that's not what people are searching for. They're searching for keywords that are specific to the, the problem or uh, solution, the service that you are providing. And so you need to have an SEO optimized website that has those keywords in it. So you need to do a proper keyword analysis before building the website so that all of those keywords are included in the metadata, the copy, the headlines, the images, all that stuff that makes up your website needs to have the have all of these keywords infused into it in order for the website itself to be SEO optimized. So hopefully that makes sense because it's so important. And that's what we do with our clients. When we put them on this, on our, um, on our package, we first do the SEO analysis, then we build the website and then we continue on with more SEO optimization after that. Um, and which includes submitting your website to those search engines because the search engines uh, may not find you unless you actually submit your website to them. So we're talking um, search engines and directories. You know, there is more than just Google out there. So you definitely want to, uh, you know, submit to more than just Google. Uh, and also you want to make sure that you're submitting to any local business listings that your business would be pertaining to. And of course, the primary one being Google My Business. Those are the important things that, that really need to be done well, you're building out your website, you know, before you even think about sending traffic to your website, you have to have it built in a way that will actually attract the right traffic. And so here we have Rayan. Hello, Rayan. Great info. SEO is so important. Is it not? Absolutely. Uh, you know, you're, it's, um, it's something that a lot of entrepreneurs really don't want to have to deal with. They don't understand it, but that's why people like us are around, right? Rayan is actually on my team. She is our SEO analyst and uh, and she does an amazing job finding all of those keywords that will bring um, you know qualified traffic to the website and when I say qualified traffic sometimes I um, I get stuck and I use like, some industry lingo so qualified traffic might be one of those terms let me know do you know what qualified traffic means if you're not in my industry I know you know Rianne <laughs> But if you're not in the marketing industry, I'd like to know if you know and understand what qualified traffic means. And uh, so I, I will explain it also. But what it means is it means that it's your target audience. It's the people who are ripe and ready and uh, and want to do business with you. They are willing to spend money on your product or service. They are in that group of people that you want to make sure that you are getting in front of uh, who are most likely to actually uh, do business with you, whether that's buying a product or, uh, you know, or, or uh, getting involved in one of the services that you offer, whatever it is, your target audience is, uh, is a group of people. It, it's not anybody who's just breathing. Sorry if you think that, but that's not that you're, you're gonna winning a, 
you're losing a winning, you're losing a losing battle. <laughs> you're losing a battle if you're trying to target anybody who is breathing, any human being or any uh, any uh, male between. 18 and 75 that's just not going to work it really has to be drilled down quite a bit more than that to understand uh what they are looking for what is it that they're searching for in google in order to find you uh the more you uh, break that down into a very specific group of people the better off you are and here i went off on another tangent about target audience but it's just so important and and i think that sometimes uh you know that gets you know, it, it because we don't quite understand it or we don't want to go through that effort, don't have time to go through that effort, uh, then it gets passed off as, uh, as something that's not important, but it is so super important. So I was talking about uh, ensuring that your website can actually be found. And so I talked about all those different ways that you have to make sure that you SEO opt optimize and get your keywords in there, but also make sure that your website itself is appealing and actually addresses the need that people are looking for to get solved. Uh, so your website itself also needs to be compelling and professional looking and built in a way that has the right marketing message for that right person. And it comes across at, in, the, in the right presentation that will keep them actually sticking around to check you out. Because you can do everything in your power, everything that I'm gonna talk about today to drive traffic to your website, but it's gonna do you no good if they land there and they go, oh, that's, I don't think that's what I want, and they're gone. So that, that's not gonna help you either, right? So you gotta have the right website up there that when you're driving traffic to it, they're actually gonna stick around and convert. And so at the end of the day, you know, is it addressing the reason why they are there effectively enough? So, so important and don't make assumptions. You have to test it and look at your um, analytics and find out what that bounce rate is and how long are people sticking around? Because if they're not sticking around, then they're not gonna convert into leads, right? It's simple math. Okay, so that was uh, strategy number one. And strategy number two, uh, or you know, the thing to think about is to give people a reason to go to your website. And I hate to tell you this, but just because you have a website or just because you're in business or just because you think you have the best widget ever invented ever, doesn't mean everybody else is going to just flock to your website to check it out. This isn't the field of dreams, people. So you have to give them a reason to come to your website. One of those things is to always keep in the top of mind is that it needs to be, uh, it needs to include value driven and compelling content. So when I talk about content, it can be in the form of many different things, but at the end of the day, you have to give people a reason to actually show up. I'm gonna say it again. This all you, you have to know who your target audience is. You have to know what it is that they are looking for. So again, we dive back into that target audience and we analyze them and we figure out, okay, what is it they are looking for that I can deliver, that I can serve up to them. Uh, so make sure that whatever this content is that's on your website is catering specifically to that group of people. And one of the best ways to do that is through a blog. Um, and the reason why a blog is just so important and, and so beneficial is that uh, well, well, there's just so many reasons. I mean, I could do a whole tea time tip just, just on the benefits of blogging, but just in a general sense, it gives Google a reason to come back and tra traverse your website, index your website so that it will show up more in the search engine results. And it gives value driven content to your target audience that will help them um, get to know you more and your expertise and and really understand that you know what you're talking about. So like if you go to our, our blog at evisionmedia.ca, you'll see literally hundreds of blog posts in there. And this Tea Time Tip will become a blog post as well, just in case you didn't know that. But yeah, in a day or two, we will 
take this video and we'll create a blog post out of it. And it's going to go into our blog archives. And so anybody who is searching for uh, free ways to get leads to their traffic, they're going to type that into the Google and hopefully this article will show up uh, as one of the results. And then they'll watch that article. They'll see that uh, eVision Media knows what they're talking about and, uh, and will help boost our credibility in this industry. So that's, uh, you know, that's pertaining to us, but the same thing will happen to you. So whether, you know, that content that you put into your blog has a lot of different benefits. And uh, maybe I'll make note of that. I'll do, uh, I'll, I'll do a, a, so, a, a tea time tip in the future on the benefits of blogging because it is so important. And so, uh, and blogging also gives you an opportunity to use content marketing and social media marketing. It gives you the content to use when you are doing your other marketing efforts. And all of those are free, right? It's free to write an article. It's free to upload it. Now, yes, if you need to hire somebody to help you with that, then I'm, I, you know, that is your choice, right? But we're not talking about uh, a paid advertisement here. So uh, yes, you may need to hire somebody to help you with creating that content, but uh, I'm still putting it in the free category uh, for because there's a possibility that you could be doing it yourself. So anyway, uh, the blogging articles gives you content to share uh, through content marketing efforts and through social media marketing efforts. And those are other tea time tips about how to do all of that as well. But um, so there's other reasons that uh, that people could be coming to your website. It could be you might have an online forum there uh, for online shopping. Obviously, like if you have a product that you're selling, then, uh, you know, people are going to want to come and check out the prices, check out the shipping, whatever it is. Right. So the, the store is also a compelling reason for people to come. And even if you have a photo gallery, like if you're a photographer or a, a home stager or interior designer, anything like that, if you have a gallery that's showcasing all of your works, like the before and after shots and stuff like that, you know, that is a reason for people to come and check out what you're up to. And, uh, and in those cases, then it's really showcasing your skills, right? Your talent and, and um, you know, convincing people that you really are an expert in your industry and they're much more likely to convert after they have seen evidence of that. And then also a really big thing is a free giveaway. This is definitely a, a prime reason to be uh, driving qualified traffic back to your website is to have a free giveaway, which ties in with list building. Um, because stats tell us that only a, a small fraction of people who initially land on your website will actually convert into a buying customer. Um, obviously there's, exceptions to that rule. But for the most part, they're shopping around, they're looking around, they haven't quite decided yet, they're not quite ready to make that buying decision, they want to see what their options are. So what we want to do as as our as business owners is get them into our list through the promise of giving them um, a, a free giveaway, and then they're in our list, and then we can keep in touch with them through a consistent newsletter that will help develop the know, like, and trust factor with them. So that when they are ready to make that purchase or make that buying decision, then it's actually a no brainer. Cause by then they know you, like you're, you're a, an old friend of theirs because you are consistently sending out newsletters and those newsletters also need to have value, uh, con you know, valuable, content in it too. It's all it needs to be value driven and not just promotion, you know, sell, 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 that's going to be a turnoff. So we have a, a newsletter that if you are not a subscriber to a newsletter, I, I invite you to check it out and see what we've done. And you will also get our free giveaway, which happens to be all about websites. It's called the ultimate guide to improving your website's profitability. And it provides you with 10 key areas to evaluate to get maximum results. And Catherine, yeah, Catherine, definitely. Hi, Susan, the website is still a storefront window, right? Absolutely. Just because you don't have a, um, you know, a storefront or a brick and mortar store doesn't mean that you're, uh, you sh shouldn't be bothered with a website or, or that your website isn't important. In fact, it makes your website even more important uh, because you don't have a storefront. So yeah, your website is your storefront. It is the, the place for people to go and check you out. And so thank you for that, for that comment, Catherine.
Oh, and so yeah, Catherine is one of our clients and she says, you and your team have done a great job with my new website. Thank you, Catherine. Wonderful to raise the bar in my business. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, Catherine, I think you've been a client with us for many years. And so I appreciate uh, your comments and your feedback. Thank you for that. Um, it makes a big difference in how your brand positioning comes across as, and it, and it helps build that credibility that you are an expert in your industry when you have the right look and website website. Okay, so so we talked about the, um, you know, all the different value ways that we can have value driven content on our website, plus that free giveaway. And then, you know, another thing that and Catherine is so good with this, too, is that, you know, uh, encourage your happy clients to refer you when when they are talking to a friend of theirs who who knows that you can help them, they're referring you. And then that friend is then going to go to your website to check you out, right? And so it can be just as, as simple as that. All right. So then the third one that you really need to be paying attention to is ensure that everyone who touches your brand can access your website. And so what I mean by touching your brand is anytime that you are in front of whether it's uh, physically, digitally, or or otherwise, <laughs> whatever that you know your uh, your business name is in front of your ideal target market, uh, we want to make sure that you are actually giving them um, easy access to your website. You don't want them to be hunting and pecking or trying, you know, in vain trying to find you uh, in Google to check you out. And so uh, there's a uh, lots and lots of different things that you need to be aware of here. So the first one being your social media profiles, make sure that every single one of your social media profiles has your website address. And, uh, you know, it's right there clickable and ready to go so that people who are checking out your social profile can easily check out your website. Um, and your signature, the your email signature that uh, shows up at the bottom of every single email that you send out, make sure that it's professionally made that matches your brand and that it's clickable, if it's an image, clickable to your website. Simple, easy stuff. Um, and what about author boxes? Like we were talking about blogging um, earlier, and but blogging on your own website is, is just half of it, right? You can be blogging on other uh, content sites like Medium or, uh, well, it's, LinkedIn Pulse is not called LinkedIn Pulse anymore, but LinkedIn gives you the opportunity to put a full blog post in there. And, or you can be a guest blogger on other people's websites who you share the same target audience with. And so at the bottom of every one of those instances, you want to have an author bio that gives a really quick position statement about who you are, who you serve, and what kind of results that you get for these people, and then a link to your website for them to, um, you know, click to find out more about about what it is that you um, are doing. Uh, and then of course, all of your print marketing materials too, like don't forget that, you know, your business card and every brochure, every um, every flyer that you create, every advertisement, even though these printed articles are not clickable, uh, you know, it can still be typed out so that they know what to type in uh, into that search bar in order to uh, in order to find your website if they want to find out more about you. Where ever those touch points are that a potential customer could be seeing your brand, make sure that uh, your website is easily uh, accessible and clickable so they can go and, and check you out. Those are the three top things. And then I also have a, uh, a bonus tip, right? I have a bonus tip for you. And the bonus tip is for uh, free ways to market your business in your hometown. So even though you might have a service based industry that you know, it, you can, um, you can um, service people all over the world, or, you know, in certain geographic areas, like North America, as an in instance, you still want to be known locally, like, you know, you got to start local and then branch out, you don't still want to, you know, start up a business and then immediately want to reach the world, right? You got to start somewhere. So starting local is one of your best ways to get going and make sure that you continue your presence there. So 
you know, tried and true method. There's nothing that replaces best the face to face networking. So find out what kind of networking events and organizations are in your local area where your target market is hanging out. Don't go if you know that your target market won't be in the audience that you will be able to connect with. So do some research and find out where your target audience is and what kind of groups and organizations that you can get involved in and network with them at you know at that local level you can also do a lot of volunteering in community groups too and so this like for me the, that's a lot of the reason how i got started gosh you know we're talking 17 18 years ago when i uh, i started off by doing a lot of volunteer work with nonprofit organizations and built them their website and did their website updates and not only did that help me hone my craft but it also helped me get visible and get that word of mouth going of people who I was working with in that organization, they would then tell other people about us. And that's how I built my business. Uh, today, we're still like 95% referral based. And this is 17 years later that, you know, we still get most of our leads through referrals. And so that is an, a really, really good way for you to get known and visible uh, by doing some volunteer work. Not only, you know, does it help with your with the community involvement and you're doing a good deed and helping people out, but you're also getting some brand exposure at the same time. And then, you know, you could do things like creating your own meetup. You know, if there is a, a certain subject that your target market uh, would be really interested in, and you know that there is a, a significant portion of that local market, you know, with you geographically, then create a meetup and, and just have, have some uh, informal sessions that way and make it fun, make it, uh, make it something that they would really want to keep coming back for. And again, that, that's that value driven stuff, right? Don't just come and do a sales presentation to them. Do you really think that they're going to come back? Would you go back if all you did, uh, you know, if you attended one of these meetups thinking that it was going to be fun, you're going to get some value out of it, you're going to meet some great people. And all you got was a sales presentation. So always, always, always put yourself in the shoes of the audience and make sure that you know, what you're delivering is actually stuff that they are going to really, really appreciate and want to come back more for. And, and then one last thing that we have been uh, very uh, wi a witness of is really important, especially in the small business world, is to nominate nominate others for awards. There's lots of awards that happen throughout the year. Uh, as you may know, uh, we were just nominated for uh, the Small Business BC uh, Best Company for 2020. We were also nominated back in 2018. And we made it through the nomination process up to the top five. So out of 101 uh, submissions for best company, we made it into the top five. And then uh, last week was the awards banquet. And we didn't win the grand prize. But hey, well, we're, we're, we feel like we're such winners. Now, um, but what happens is, is when you get nominated, somebody, you know, when you are nominating somebody, that person that you nominated is going to publicly thank you for the nomination. And you're going to get exposure in front of people that may not have normally known about you. So when you do a kind deed for somebody else, they're going to thank you publicly, like on social media, at tag them on the on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. And that will help build your exposure. People will check you out. And then, of course, that is driving leads back to your website. So that not, not that is not necessarily one of the local things. I mean, you can nominate somebody, uh, you know, on the other side of the country too. But uh, but even when it's a local award, that, that's even better. Like we a few years ago, we were nominated for the um, Chamber of Commerce uh, uh, Best uh, Home Based Business, and we actually did win that award. And it was uh, you know something that uh, you know we really do uh, appreciate and and want to to, you know, tell others about, you know, the, how we were nominated and who nominated us. So that is uh, what we I wanted to share with you today. You know, just remember that with every potential class customer that you meet, assume that they're going to be heading to your website to check you out and check out your services. 
And, you know, if you're face to face with them, they might even do it right there in front of you. So it's so important that your website does present to them a favorable first impression. So make sure that it's mobile friendly and make sure that it's got the right messaging and, uh, and, the, and, you know, it just appeals to them so that they're not going to immediately be turned off and leave. Uh, we want them to be compelled enough into action, action meaning either they contact you for um, a free consultation, sign up for your free giveaway, take your quiz like, uh, like um, uh, Catherine has, she has a free quiz on her website, hire you, buy from you, any of those kinds of things. We need to make sure that your website is good enough that people are actually going to stick around. Driving traffic to them is one step, keeping them there is another step, converting them into what you want them to do is another step. So it's a really multi-pronged approach, but we talked more about that organic traffic today. I hope you got some great insights out of that. Um, you know, I like that, you know, these are just a handful of non-paid organic strategies to follow to get that traffic to your website. But I do highly recommend, like I said at the top of the show, in investing in a marketing budget as well so that you are getting Getting that direct traffic through the paid efforts that will get those conversions quite a bit quicker than the long term strategy of content marketing and relying on organic search. And if you, uh, you know, need help, either hire a pro like us here at evisionmedia.ca or you might want to check out my Amplify Business Academy. It's a monthly training membership program. And uh, we're actually right now getting started on a six month social media promotion series. So I'm talking about um, promoting, doing your promotion on social media, um, you know, as a supplement to all of your non promotional efforts, actually. And it's six month series. And we are diving deep into the best practices for marketing your business on social media. Yeah, I'm covering chatbots and all kinds of things here so you can come and check us out and um and give us a try just for a dollar uh, you can sign up today for a dollar and that will get you free access to all of the training videos in our content library uh, for 14 days and then on day 15 uh, you would convert into a regular paying client uh, you know member uh for 47 dollars a month and that's canadian so if you're in the states you're gonna it's gonna be quite a bit less than that because of the dollar exchange difference and so you would be really benefiting from that uh, we do charge in Canadian dollars across the board so all of our American friends and clients love us to death for that reason so yeah every month I upload a whole new 60 minute training series plus we have a private Facebook group for ongoing continued support so do check us out about uh, learning more how to market your business online I give the straight goods and strategies I don't go off and to the deep end or do stuff that really isn't tried and true do you really do get the sound advice from my 20 years of experience in this industry so thank you for joining me today i so appreciate you and come and check us out every second wednesday for this live and if you are watching this in the replay mode go ahead and ask your questions i would be happy to answer even if we're in replay so i'll talk to you next time bye for now